Okay, folks. I had to do a lot of praying about this video, and it took me a while to make it. The donation link. Now, the donation link started about, you know, the Second Amendment stuff. And at that time, I was getting a little bit more in the AdSense, because it was right after the Doomsday Preppers came out. And, uh, you know, I got a bunch of, I guess, people looking at my videos to say, ooh, who is this? And a lot of them were libtards, and they, you know, they wanted, uh, they thought that, hey, I should blow sunshine up their tail ends. Well, you know what? If you go back on my channel and look at when I started, I was here in 2007. Got my first flip cam in around 2009. Started making videos, trying to get people to prepare. Started as just an EDC, you know, a get home bag, uh, you know, for people to carry with them, you know. Um, and basically, I was led to do this by the Lord because it took me a couple of years before I even turned on the AdSense money. And the AdSense has helped, but. Man, if you could see the expenses I have, I've I've been, uh, yeah, I, you know, um, I've been left a house uh, by a mother that ran up sixty thousand dollars in credit card debt from horses because she was uh, had the Alzheimer's and stuff like that, and I got roofs falling apart, floors falling apart, uh, my health has gone down. I have to pay other people to come help me. I mean, I live out of the way for most everybody I know. Uh, matter of fact, if I've only met one uh, prepper type that lives out in my direction. So, anyway, let's back to the, the donate link. It took me a while to pray on this, and uh, the Lord answered me. And it was kind of strange, because I was... It, the answer came to me while I was watching the news. Uh, Obama, it was about Obama raising over $70 million and Mitt Romney raising over $100 million. And, and uh, you know, that's when an aunt came to me and says, these people that ride around with Rolexes and uh, are throwing money toward things that are not even the will of the Lord uh, are getting millions of dollars. You shouldn't feel ashamed a bit about throwing donate links out there when you're doing what the Lord has led you to do. And, uh, you know, and I think, you know, I started thinking about that. You know, I just, you know, Lord, I, I know I'm kind of a harsh and I'm a, I'm a miserable failure. He, 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 the, you're not. I'm not because I, I am informing the prepping community of the worst case of things, of things how bad things can really be, and what to prepare for. By, by, cutting a goat's head off, and you know, and and playing with its guts, I'm basically showing you. This is what you're going to have to see every day. This is going to be an everyday thing. Messing with poo, you got to know it. Personal hygiene, got to know it. I mean, uh, I know I don't, I'll never have the viewers because I don't sugarcoat it. I tell you, poo is poo, and, and that's all there is to it, you know? And, um,. I mean, you don't hear me saying GD or nothing like that in any of my videos. Uh, and I try to keep the cussing to a minimum. Um, but I don't use the Lord's name in vain. And I generally don't tolerate much of it in the comments. If you GD this and GD that, you get on the crackerhead list. Uh, I mean, I've been called racist and all like that. Well, you're racist. Uh, you're for killing the children. Uh, no, I'm not. You, uh, there are lots of trolls that like to put words in your mouth. That that there are people out there that think that what the upcoming tribulations are of God is God's wrath. No, the tribulations are the wrath of man, of Satan, of this world. 
The wrath of God is what sends you to the lake of fire. <laughs> okay? That's God's wrath. You know, right? you did. You were bad. You listen to Satan. You're going to go live with Satan, you know, after it's all over with. And the upcoming events, uh, I picked DMP, okay? EMP is what I consider worst case scenario. Okay, of course it may not be. What about, how about EMP, uh, an EMP, and then uh, seven years of drought to go with the EMP? How about that one? Okay, it could be worse than just EMP. But, I, you know, EMP is... Uh, all their toys going away in an instant, and just just things going going downhill overnight. Okay, that's that's an overnight poof, poo hitting the fan type thing. God hasn't told me how it's coming. He didn't say it was going to be an EMP. Uh, that's just what I consider to. That's my personal thing. Might be an EMP. He hasn't told me not to say it. Uh, so. Uh, you know, that's, the donate link came from that watching that. That's when the answer came. And then, and then, uh, you know, I'm watching this other show, uh, and it's the preacher. This pastor is a young feller. I don't remember his name. I'm having a brain fart. And I, I don't think I should mention his name. But he is one of the wealthiest. This guy preaches wealth. This guy flies around in his own personal jet. Has He wears $1,000 suits every day. And people give him millions and millions of dollars. And when I seen him in the video, what I saw in his eyes was evil. <laughs> I saw pure evil in this guy. When the interviewer asked him, he, he just for a second had that look, look in his eye like, Ah, I'm pulling it over on the people. I mean, it was almost like I was looking into the eyes of Satan. And they're giving these, they're get, people are giving this false prophet millions, hundreds, hundreds of millions of dollars. And the churches uh, have, I'm, say, I'm not a 501c3. You will never. I mean, I've got an ordained minister plaque, but you will never see me as a 501c3, because that's unconstitutional. That The church really dropped the ball on that. They signed away, they, they might as well have signed a pact with the devil when they took the 501c3. It was slid in uh, as a faith-based initiative, but the government has got it in there. You know, the pastor can't talk about politics because he could lose his 501c3. <sighs> what is this? Does anybody... You'll never hear the churches jumping on that one. And that's why the churches have, are, are part of the demoralization of the country. They dropped the ball. They signed a pact with Satan. And that's exactly what that 501c3 is. Okay, so I can say whatever I want. I'm not a 501c3. And if you was to donate me any money, you're not going to get to write it off on your taxes. <laughs> nah. You know, well, you know what it would I would really be nice is if I got enough donations not only to take care of what I got, but where I could give money away. That would be that would be neat. Of course I do give money away. I I mean, uh, that's where the pressure canner can t contest came from, but uh, good old devil has come after me and attacked my washing machine, so. Hmm. But anyway, that's why I don't feel in the least bit. I've been told, don't even worry about the donation line. Don't worry about it. Y'all, God will lay it on your hearts to give it, uh, to donate to me if you want to. And uh, there will be no difference in his eyes. You donating to me, or you putting it in a collection plate. The only true way, let me see if I've, uh, well, I don't have a lighter here handy. I don't smoke, I don't drink. So uh, I don't have a lighter. The only true way you're going to give any money to the Lord is if you, right now, pull out a $20 bill and set it on fire. 
That way you can make sure it goes directly to him. The donation is just a sacrifice. That's all it is. You know, it, you're sacrificing part of your stuff. Of course, if you like what I hear, what I have to say, you know, that's, that's why the donate link's there. Uh, so that's why I have been instructed to leave it there because uh, most of what I say, don't get me wrong, I, I'm human and I'm, I'm a sinner and I get off on my own tangents every now and then, but the prepping stuff and the stuff about what's going on in the world around me is what I feel led to share uh, by the Lord, okay? I, that's, that's just it. If I make a prepper report, I make it to open your eyes to things that could happen uh, and... These, these are things that you need to prepare. And hopefully, that will make it where when the tribulations come, your flesh won't suffer. Okay? Even if you're a saint, you, you're, you're, the, you're just perfect. You do everything perfectly. If you're not prepared, your flesh, your flesh, your body, this thing out here will suffer and cause you misery <laughs> uh, if you're not prepared. You may die and go right to heaven. You know, your your death will be a release. So you'll go, you know, you go to heaven. But if you do not want your flesh to suffer and the upcoming tribulations is why you need to pre prepare. Uh, you, it, and the upcoming famine and stuff like that and uh, the trolls coming out from under the bridge <laughs> uh, shooting at you. If you want to make things difficult on them and be able to shoot back at them, uh, you know, you need to prepare for this. You know, otherwise they'll just come and run over you and send you to heaven easily. You know, don't make the job easy on them, you know. Make them work for it. Uh, so... I'm gonna. Here's the way I'll put it. You pray, you pray, and if you think what I'm saying is helping or is 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 true to the Word of God, now if I offend you, but it's still true to the Word of God, you know, uh, too bad. Uh, but that's why the donate link is there, and believe me. I am not wearing Rolex watches. I am not wearing Armani suits. You may see me in a new pair of bib overalls, but, uh, I mean, come on, folks. If you'll give it to somebody riding around in a uh, Mercedes, I have no problem keeping my link there either. And, you know, I'm sure I'll have to annotate this video because I've forgotten stuff.